Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and today I'll show you how to flash the firmware of the device. So before we get started there's a couple things we'll need. Number one is the cable. Plug it into your computer and have it ready on the side. Um, then another two things that we'll need are all the software for the phone, which you can get once you search for your device on Hard Reset. So open a new tab and just can show you a brief description. So you just type in, for instance, Note 10. And then when you scroll down, you can choose whichever one is yours. I already have mine open. It's the Exynos one. And uh, mind you that some of them, depending like if it's the Exynos or as the 855 um, will have a different uh, different model number and does also have a different uh, file. So to check it, you would actually just go to your phone. You can do it two different ways, either from settings, you go into settings, scroll down about phone. You'll have right here, model number. And right here, it's the SMN970F. So, as I said, it's the Exynos one. And if I go right here to the firmware download, you'll see it. You speed the file. So download this. Now, mind you, this will take probably a bit of a time considering it's a five and a half, I think, gigabyte file. Um, then you also need to unwrap it. Um, so yeah, get this one. And uh, once you have this, you can also then download the Odin software. I'm just gonna close this off. And uh, you can either search for it or also get it from here. Um, and I think the easiest way that I found is just to go through and bypass Google verification and just tap on let's say number one. And there is a link for it. So Samsung Odin software right here. I need to just simply tap on it and it will give you the newest version right here. So you just download it and you can run it. Now I already have both of those things, so I don't need to download anything. And neither would you like to probably wait for to the download of five and a half gigs of of data. So um, begin, you can open up Odin once you have everything ready. Keep it open like so, then we'll need to put the device into um, download mode. So to do this, we simply want to shut off the device. So just pull down the notification panel and tap on the power button right there and select power off like so, and wait for the device to actually shut off. And once it has, what you want to do now, to put it into download mode is hold volume up and volume down together when the device is off. So I'm just gonna do that, holding both of those keys, volume up and down. And while holding them, I'm gonna plug it in, the cable that is plugged into this computer right here. And you will see that you get this warning message right now. So what you wanna do is press volume up to continue and pay attention right to the screen. Now Odin right here where we have ID com, there's nothing there. Once I press volume up, the device should show up. And there it is. Now if you're not seeing your device on there. You will need to download another thing also from the bypass, which is the USB drivers right here. So get that, install it, and I believe you also need to restart your computer after installing them for them to actually work. And then you can proceed again with, the, with this process and Odin should be able then to see your device right here. Yeah. So as you can see, the device is already recognized. So now we want to start adding the Samsung files. So tap on the BL and from the five gigabyte file that you have downloaded, locate wherever it is. So wherever you chose to save it, go there. And I mean, it's this one, it's right here. And then start selecting the files that you need to add. So as you can see the BL, you need to select the BL file right here, underscore. Then AP and AP underscore, and you have also, as you can see, it's the uh, model number of the device. Now also mind that once you tap on the uh, AP file, the program will freeze because it's one of the bigger files and it starts to process it. You know, it doesn't really show anything. So as you can see, it just froze. So the program is unresponsive. 
Now it will take about a minute or so for it to load it and once it has, the program will unfreeze and you can continue to add CP and SCS file. So let's wait for it. Now also mind that the time it takes me to load this file may, may vary for you depending on how good your computer is. Okay, so as you can see it's loaded. So now we can add CP file. Select the CP right here. And last, CSC right here. Double tap it. And once this is loaded, we want to go into the options right here. Yeah, so go to the options. And here make sure that auto reboot and F reset time is enabled. And once that's all set, you can then press on start. So I'm just gonna start that. And as you can see, in the top left corner, you get a little progress bar of what's it doing right now and how much more it's left with. And once it's done, uh, it will basically do, show you a message that it's finished and uh, the device will then reboot and uh, I guess continue to do like a reset of it and then present you with the setup screen. So let's wait for the process to actually finish fully. And as you can see now the process is finished and you can set up your device. I'm just gonna do a quick setup of it. So let me unplug it. Let's change the language to English. And now the device is ready to be used. So that is how you would flash the firmware of the Note 10. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.